Hi, my name is Prosper, and this is Sid Talk. Ah, it's been a while. Good to see you guys. Good to join you. It's been a great day. It's been a good time. New government, old ones gone. Like the Bible say, old things have passed away. Yes, behold, the new ones have come. Expectations very high because the old ones when they before then bastardized this country so many things just went wrong so many things where do we start from shen had the issue of this calm nigeria away they bring i've been at the issue of the extravagant after party when governors when don't come out they do i've been a uh, the subsidy where they remove i've been at the pilgrimages when Nigeria they spend unnecessary money on issues to plenty but we will try as much as possible to see how we will take align these things because man it is so annoying what is wrong with us as a nation what did be our problem lord have mercy eh you sleep you wake up for Nigeria every day you wake up for Nigeria there's a new scam there's a new fraud there's a new corruption you see as they try to guide this Previous corruption, these guys they escalated, they, they, they refined the new what kind of horrible leaders do we have? What kind of demonic leaders do we have? What kind of wicked leaders do we have in this country? What about that problem? You guys have made life miserable for everybody in Nigeria. You guys have deprived Nigerians of what they should get as citizens. Nigerians not get anything, will not get right. <laughs> we don't even get nationality. We we'll just be floats in the air because of our avarice, our greed for amassing wealth. Eh? How much na fit even amass? Now I talk about this scam called Nigeria air. Eh? I have not seen a country as terrible. Then I even refine one. Well, never see country in be the level of evil from these leaders eh it didn't make belly turn me jesus how how do you explain it two days to your getting out of power after spending eight years when i go bring ethiopian air paint them or in fact let me use the word when i go borrow aircraft new government don't come inside now the long much talked about subsidy removal regime now we don't enter now so they don't remove subsidy and so now well my own personal opinion though you know um you could just paint this picture yourself as a nigerian if i ask you as a nigerian which you did benefit from government as a nigerian which you did benefit from government what is your benefits apart from civil servants when BC the work for government the college waiting be your own which you gain as a Nigerian. First, remember every home for Nigeria get generator, which means you produce your own electricity. And you go buy fuel, you will service the gen. Every almost every Nigerian home get borehole. So which means you produce you provide yourself your own water with you drink, good water anyway. Most Nigerians also, for streets and community, that they get their own security, their own local security. Okay, so it means you they pay for electricity. Sometimes the electricity self, yeah, yeah, you, you go, you get a generator. When there is light, you go go buy this high fuel. Then, at the end of the month, light there, light light not there, Nepal go still come collect money, so you go pay Nepal bill. Now, you, you, most homes not get good water now. There's no water. And so, you provide your own borehole. Because you build as you must do borehole. So, now you do your own water. Then, the security, when you get your own house, most communities that they get securities, when they, they pay some bills at the end of the month, maybe 1K, 2K, depends on the kind of security you want to get. Okay? So, you are paying you are paying to do your own light, you are paying to get your own water, you are paying for your own security. Then again, the road will lead to your your place most people are then they do and most communities are in the grade their roads okay so you look at these four basic things apart from the arrow the between this and god give us natural equipment then catch they go sell the air give us you can't go man, we'll get for this country if they get opportunity they go sell the breeze with the breeze with this not be their property now 
You look at these four very essential things where you, as a citizen of this country, you they provide for yourself now. Okay? Then I can look as okay, the only thing when uh, they enjoy as a Nigerian, when they attach to government, they enjoy now the small change when they put on top of well when uh, they buy. Now they don't remove them. You see, for my me, it, it, it's not about removing the subsidy. There's a system of corruption in place. Because the truth of the matter is, okay, you know, the common subsidy, okay, you ask some fundamental questions. Till today, NNPC and the federal government don't know how much will they consume for fuel for Nigeria daily. It not shock you. No official of NNPC or from Ministry of Petroleum Resources go fit give you an estimate of what will they consume as a nation for this same fuel every day because of the scam and the corruption inside the system. Because I mean, if you go fit tell us okay, we we'll consume X Y amount, then we we'll go say okay, press calculator, pa 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 pa, then we we'll get you know some vague. But they never fit tell us, and they refuse to do this because of what is going on. So it's not about removing the subsidy or leaving the subsidy to stay. It's about the system that is so bad. You look, you know, you are waiting to come to Ariola. Thought some 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 days ago. How the cabas in the system in this same subsidy scam kidnap her mama, tell her to resign and leave this country because of this this corruption, this same money matter. So which means if they are able to curb this this fraud stars, this cabal, when this in them be the the if not, then the the key of Nigeria did their hand. So they already turn the key as it suit them. If they feel address them because the same the truth of the matter is as with the common subsidy so eh? these guys they themselves they orchestrate their new plan for this new regime because now the same corruption now but at the end of the day the money won't as soon as say for the subsidy so we know this yeah now don't come up they don't come out subsidies for this country plenty times so the defense they even do when, when the previous government come out when they just five years go on 45 po they say they don't come out subsidies. Ah, Nigeria say, so, ah, yeah, and nobody complain, no. How many years down the line again? We still hear the same subsidy. So the question only had ask asked, I say, this one they come out, so who say not the last subsidy? Because tomorrow now they not come tell us say they want to come out subsidy. And is it not even a shame? A country that has four refineries, four. No one they work because of this corruption. They just refuse to make them work. So that this this they are escapade of thievery. They are escapade of corruption. This is their escapade of amassing. The commonwealth of Nigerians to themselves alone could they go on. Then Kosuna Mikuna no respect the refineries. Then Kosuna. Meanwhile, the, the those Refineries when don't die, you I still get their MD, still get everybody they work there, they collect salary. And those ones have not even the shame. You, you see, the, the system is so bad, eh? I just wonder if we get any good thing to talk about this country, self. What's the good thing to talk about Nigeria? Yes, say renewed hope. We don't see some small glimmer of hope. Small, small, yeah. Give it to give it to the new president, it's less than about a week. Yeah, some of the some of the crazy some some of the blind decision when the former administration put in place now. Yeah, they don't ease them off. Yeah, you don't open the borders. Kudos to you, my new president, Bola Metsnubu. You be you know, before before you come in, I, I, I don't share them. Say, look, one of the things where you go do when you go first day win the house of Nigeria is not to open this border. And when I hear say you open this border, man, I say, I mean this guy, this guy gets at least bless you know what you need to do. Will they give you time? We'll see they watch you, yeah. See, they watch you. The only thing that they beg you for now, be say, I beg. I know so you get a lot of, you get a lot of baggages. People you need to satisfy. Because our language satisfy. Because of their own and play for your emergence as president. But I beg you, like you've always been, picking professionals to man different areas. I beg you, pick the best people and the best hands. If you can't do that, I'm telling you, 
I know they say the register stone come become the cornerstone and be the story of this administration. No, okay, well, you know what? You know what? Some people they focus, but but then they see some kind of small small things. Don't they be like you know? Are you sure? Okay, we'll get a chance if you work. Yes. Let me say, I'm not a party person. I'm not. I'm, I hate politics because politicians now they be the biggest liars. So I'm not be saying they, they support one person, but you see when you see what thing good, you go talk him. And from what I done, they see in the, in the first few days, you know, it'd be like, say, we they head into a direction that has a definition, not be, <laughs> not be, and for everybody and for nobody and we were for nothing. Country just, they go on autopilot for eight years. Close the borders, bring scam rice, Nigerian rice, come expensive pass imported rice, we're not going to see by. The chop price, you lose your teeth and they're very expensive. You know, we will see them. You know, and you not put any checks in place. So we just beg, you know, yeah, subsidy thing. All I need this government to do is to checkmate it. People, when they involved in all these camps, bring them to book. When are they fear to, when are they fear to arrest, when are they fear to prosecute these people, when I know them now, when I know them, call their names, put them for trials. If they found guilty, block them up. Clean the system so that they don't say a new sheriff do enter town. Nobody hand clean, no. I see that the person will insist if a man and be the thief. So far, so good. I'm begging you, those people who have been responsible in putting Nigeria where Nigeria is today, I beg you, this new government and new administration, I beg you, my president, Bolatino, I beg. Begin go after them. Look them to the face and tell them what they do wrong. Two hundred million Nigerians suffering because of hey, bring that scam money swap, carry British money deceivers. How many of you now see they see the new Naira note when they deceivers that time? You know even they again self. So which means it was a calculated fraud. What waiting? If you come up for Nigeria, we are good. Waiting, waiting. No light, no light after 60 years. No light. When I soon privatize them so that you know, they see the light. Hmm? But I just, I, I hope, say, you know, the new government is listing and we're looking, we believe in you. Yes, I guess that word, you know, from the small actions where you don't display, you know, you don't buy part of me. And they believe in you. I'm watching you closely and I'm also praying for you so that you succeed. <laughs> now, you are one of the best countries in this world. I keep saying it. I'm one of those people who, who I don't even get the plan to, to jack up. Let me say, if you come out, don't go around. But you see, we don't get the plan to run because we believe in this country. We believe in this country. So, if people like us still believe in this country, then what can I just make us a bit comfortable now? Just small, small. All we need, just give us the basic thing. So, we're not that one that to give us money. We're not that just put lights, make light day consistently. If light day, barbers and they barb their hair with Nepal lights, welders and they weld with Nepal lights. You know, people they use, people they, people they do this uh, salon, you know, you go salon, you know, they use generator. Come on, all these things go come down. But when you go salon, when they buy for 600, 500 naira per liter, of course, you can't be paying the same thing when you go to pay if, if it is light now. So, when I let light day, if I don't know they buy for for gen, beautiful. Hmm? When I give us this water, I will not get since. When I say when I use the subsidy money to cushion something, so they look on a, if now if you provide light, make light a day, when I give us good water, when I give us good health care, good health care, provide security. She gonna. If not like Monaco, there's many money not concerned, but just put these ones in place. We are good as Nigerians. We we'll do our businesses. You go house, you come back, you see light, you do what you want to do with the light, you sleep with the light. Not be say, <laughs> even you they sleep, light just come cry. But see people go wake up, begin the iron clothes, 2 a.m., you know, because Nigeria still remains my country. My name is Prosper, and this is C.